was Hafiz, who was caught by A.B. de Villiers off Antini. And this was a really difficult wicket for the South African batsman to work out. The Pakistani batsman, I should say. Yes, it was. It, it was very different to Port Elizabeth, where they played only a few days ago. And here, this pitch had a lot more pace and bounce. And subsequently, we're seeing the batsman getting caught behind a lot. Look, you know, Akmal hanging his bat out there, extra bounce. Um, and they looked particularly uncomfortable to that sort of length of delivery. Mm. And uh, the South African four-seamers plugged away, banging it around uh, back of a length. And, um, you know, really, Pakistan all struggled, apart from Mohamed Yusuf. Well, this was the end of Mohamed Yusuf. He played brilliantly for his 83 off 90 deliveries. But that shot to me almost suggested that he was getting frustrated with the lack of support he was getting from the lower order. Would that be fair? Well, without doubt. Um, he put on a very useful partnership with Mohamed Sami, mm. who only contrib contributed four runs himself. Out of a partnership uh, of 60, that was Yeah. Right. And, well, that just goes to show what can be done. But the next two batsmen, uh, Nazir and Canario, got out to a pretty horrible shot and didn't make the effort to try and stick around, you know, and guts it out a little bit for Mohamed Yusuf to continue what was a very, very fine innings on a difficult surface. Yeah, it would appear that he didn't back um, a thief to hang around with him for too much longer. But in many ways, this was a masterclass. And you were purring in here in the studio with some of the shots and the way he went about it. Perhaps you could explain that. Well, that's right, because we've, we've mentioned the pace and bounce and, and the variable bounce on this pitch. But uh, Yusuf just showed good balance. Um, look at the way he gets into the ball there when driving. Um, but he knows he plays very well off the back foot as well. And uh, he, he just played in an orthodox manner, really. Um, didn't do anything too outrageous, although the ball was misbehaving at times. Fair to say that he's taken a great deal of confidence from 2006, but he had a bit of a break where he was with his wife. It's sometimes difficult as a batsman to restart, is it, and mm. not think you can hit everything for four as soon as you get back out in the middle? Yeah, absolutely. You do have to uh, refocus and start again, if you like, because uh, you find yourself in new conditions. And here, Mohamed Yusuf has travelled South Africa. Um, Port Elizabeth was was fairly slow and low. Yeah. And here at, at Cape Town, different pace of pitch, new challenge. Um, and uh, I think he's shown what a class player is. And he's also shown why he's so consistent, mm. because he is prepared to adapt mm. to different surfaces. 157 all out. Mohamed Yusuf was the mainstay of that Pakistan batting performance. Let's show you the wickets that fell when South Africa replied. The first to go was Berta Dipinar on his return to Test match cricket. He was adjudged LBW off the bowling of a Asif without scoring. Hashi Mamla pushing through one again off the bowling of a Asif. That was a C 16th wicket in the series so far. Then the big wicket of Jacques Callas caught by Cameron Atmel off Sammy. Smith had played well for his 64 before Hinzi plucked one out of nowhere. And then the last wicket to go, A.B. de Villiers, who was completely dumbfounded by the googly bowl by Danish Canary. So those are the wickets that fell in the South African first innings. 131 for five. They trailed by 26 runs. But Smith bristled with intent, yeah. the captain. Played a lovely innings. He did, really. He really looked up for the challenge. And you've always got to be as an opener anyway, you know, facing the new ball. Um, you've got to be very mentally strong and, and positive in everything you do. And here Smith came out, and when he defended the ball, he was right in behind it, yeah. very, very solid. And when he went to attack, you know, he really committed to the shot, punched through the ball, and he got off to a bit of a flyer, some nice deliveries on leg stump for him to tuck away. But he did play extremely well, and he is so important to South Africa at the top of the order. Prince at the crease, Boucher and Pollock to come. The lead, or they're trailing by 26, and they can get a lead of 50. Is that, in normal circumstances, worth 150, perhaps? Well, it could be. I mean, the outfield, I think, is quite slow, um, and the South Africans will look to really eke out as many runs as they can. Expect to face Asif and Canary, are probably Pakistan's two best bowlers in the morning. Yeah. So that will be an important phase there, that first hour. If they can get through that initial onslaught, then they'll hope to build a good lead. Okay, Mark. Great to speak to you. And... Uh, I'll see you again soon. Thanks very much indeed for 